What's going on guys and welcome back to Bogear RC videos. Now today we are going to take a look at the CR24 rat rod that I've been uh, working on. This is the dual motor uh, truck that I've been building and uh, since last time we went ahead and uh, put some paint on her, kind of weathered it up. I'm not, uh, this is the first time I've ever tried to do any of that, but uh, probably it looks better in person than it does on camera. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't look bad. It's kind of going uh, with the theme I was looking for. So uh, yeah, kind of happy with that. Um, we put some inner fenders in it. I cut these out of aluminum and put those in there because I didn't want to see up through the body. And uh, I haven't uh, finished uh, completely mounting the body yet, but uh, that's something we'll get to. We've still got a little work to do tightening everything up. But uh, this thing is pretty impressive in its torque now. I did upgrade it to 2S. So... Uh, We've got the uh, speed back up to where it was uh, in its stock condition, if not maybe a little bit better. But uh, again, like I said, the low end torque on this thing is really great now. She'll crawl nice and slow, good torque. But right here we can see one of the things that I'm not completely happy about. With the two motors, the wheels with the least resistance will spin. So, with that being said, um, I think I'm going to leave this one the way it is. You know, I'll tighten everything up and uh, leave it as a dual motor setup for a while. And uh, shoot a couple run videos with it because I do like the, uh, the uh, low end torque that it has. But, uh, you know, that is one of the weaknesses of doing the dual motor setup. And uh, since I've done it, I've discovered this. Um, I've taken it outside at the uh, motel that I was at the other day and ran it on some, uh, you know, some roots and stuff. There wasn't really rocks there, but uh, they had some roots there and it did fairly well on that kind of uh, condition. But... Uh, ultimately that is the one weakness that this has and like i said i'll get out and do a run video with it and uh we'll see how it does uh out there on the rocks or somewhere i'm up up in uh washington now maybe i can find some rocks around here i was down south of here before and uh it was raining today i wanted to get a video with it running but it was raining. I didn't want to get out in the rain, so I just uh, kept traveling until uh, I got to where I was going. But yeah, we'll do a run video. Uh, let me take this body off of here. As uh, I think we've seen last time, I moved all the electronics to the back and uh, did switch to the 2S. It keeps everything nice and low. I do like that about this mod. So, you know, I'm kind of torn about it. I mean, it's uh, I love the low end torque that I'm getting out of this thing now, and uh, I like that the center of gravity is low because the transmission's not sticking up here in the way. That's pretty good. So doing a dual motor setup on one of these uh, is I don't know. It's it's I would say more positive than negative. But, uh, you know, it, it has its drawbacks because it's not a really truly locked up four wheel drive uh, like like you've seen. If uh, you take the weight off the front axle, they'll start to spin. Now, the uh, back axle will, you know, st it will start getting power in that if you give it more throttle. But, uh, you know, still, you know, that's something to think about if you're going to do this mod. I tried it. I showed y'all what it does. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's decent. I, I would say I like it better than I did stock, but there's room for improvement. So probably what I will do with this, I'll run it a couple times 
and then we'll work on a different mod on this one. I think I'm just going to use this as my experimental 124 scale truck to try out different mods and get one that I like. And when I get it the way I like it, then we'll keep it that way. But uh, anyway, I did just want to show that to you. Until next time, old Uncle Lee, Bogey RC Video said, I'll see ya. Thank <laughs> you.